Hey, what's going on guys? Jilts139 here, and today I'm doing a speed run on Borderlands 2 of Captain Scarlet's DLC uh, in 35 minutes 12 seconds, and it's a pretty awesome run. Uh, I optimized it myself, I didn't get any sort of tricks or anything from sites, I kind of just ran through the game, uh, found my own grenade jump spots and all that stuff, so uh, I try to keep it as fast and entertaining as possible for you guys, so... Uh, the thing with this run is I am playing on normal mode and with a level 61 character. So if you guys are looking for like a hardcore one-on-one uh, -on -one battle action crap like that, you came to the wrong place because I am not on uh, ultimate ball hunter mode. Uh, I'm basically just going to one-shot everything, which is kind of... Some of you guys might hate that, but uh, I only did it just for the speedrun purposes, so I hope you guys don't mind. So... Uh, the way I recorded the time of this run is basically uh, my playtime and cutscenes are counted toward, towards this run because it would be the same on every system. The only thing I didn't count towards my time would be uh, loading screens and traveling like uh, with the fast travel station. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, because it's different on PS3 and Xbox than it is to the PC. Uh, the PC obviously has a lot more processing power and can uh, load scenes probably, or do the loading screen uh, two to three times faster than the Xbox and PS3. So, uh, I basically just didn't count that because it was kind of unfair um, to count that towards my time when it's just going to add a lot of time. So, uh, I also did cut down the loading screen uh, footage just so that it would uh, keep this run faster paced and not let you guys, you know, sit there and wait for 15 seconds waiting for a loading screen. It's just kind of boring, so... Um, right here, I'm clearing out the town. Uh, there's one guy on the roof over here, which kind of gave me some trouble. But overall, this was a, a pretty good run of this uh, uh, town because a lot of the times the enemies will spawn on the roof, and I only had one guy spawn up there, so I was okay with it. So uh, no beard's about to walk out this door, so I kind of give him a pre-fire to easily take him out. So. Uh, the only things I'm using in this run is the Infinity Pistol. Uh, the Breakneck Banshee class mod, uh, the Rough Rider shield, and a regular grenade with no uh, things equipped to it so I can grenade jump. So Right here we meet uh, Shade for the first time, so I'm sitting here waiting for him. I hate those times in the speed run when you have no choice but to sit there and wait for something. Uh, it's kind of annoying, but you know there's nothing you can do about it. There are times in this run where I save and quit to get back to the way, uh, to the, what do you call it, the uh, beginning of the level, so I can be right at the fast travel station, the fast travel, wherever I need to go to, and I can also skip the, uh, the text of, uh, the guy talking or whatever, which is really nice and, uh, a great time saver in runs, so. Uh, if you guys are looking to, like, understand the story of this DLC, uh, you probably don't want to watch this run and try to understand it because I skip a lot of the uh, game um, you know burning through it and it's kinda hard to understand so I'd go watch a different run because this is all about you know burning through the story as fast as you can uh, I'm not gonna be doing any side missions just the uh, story missions so I need a drink in my Red Bull <laughs> man Commentating uh, 35 minute video is pretty tough, I'll tell you that much, because I am not the commentator, so. <clears throat> right here, we gotta talk to all the dead towns folks. Uh, Shay basically put microphones on them to make them seem like they're still alive. They actually died of thirst, because Shade is a terrible friend, so. And he's very lonely and thinks we're his best friend, so. Uh, right here, I just grenade jumped up here just so I can grab the piece and just go flying towards the uh, next objective. So I don't have to wait. So it's not really op. It's not really or what is it? Uh, meant to be done that way, but I kind of did anyway. So and of course I already have 500 radium, so it's pointless picking it up. But you know, you got those little breaks you can take in between doing stuff. So do whatever you want. You know. <laughs> I just thought about it, but you guys say I say so a lot, and you know so much in my videos and <clears throat> I honestly never thought about that until you guys said that and I think it's funny because I went back to watch my uh my uh what was it just some of my commentaries and my gameplays and I just noticed I said that a lot so that's kind of funny see I just said so right there I just don't even think about it so 
Oh god, I did it again. Oh wow, my voice cracked. <clears throat> I need a drink. <sighs> Much better. Alright, um, I will probably be speedrunning the other DLCs in the future, uh, but doing a speedrun through a DLC does take a lot of time. I mean, you guys only think it's 35 minutes, 12 seconds, you know, but in reality, it took me many, many attempts of, um, you know. Oh, I didn't even tell you. Oh, I said, you know, again, I don't even think about it. Um, this is segmented, so uh, after I finish a part, uh, I save and quit the game and back up my save, and then I kind of put the pieces together so I can perfect a part uh, to the best of my ability. And then I just uh, put it all together after I get it all perfected. So it's not a single segment. Like, I'm not running straight through the game nonstop. Um, this whole segment, until I get to warm water, it will be one segment I played through straight. And then after I get to warm water, I basically uh, back up my save so I can redo the uh, the story as many times as I want until I perfect it to the best of my ability. So. The good thing about knowing the game is uh, when you're doing a speed run, uh, you know where you gotta go next. So right here, I know that you have to go repair the sand skip. So I go up to it and uh, get ready to repair it. So it, uh, I keep saying it. I keep thinking about it now. Not that you guys told me. It's like cursing me. I'm just gonna ignore it. Whatever. Now right here, I I could have done better at putting the pieces together, but if it's only like a couple seconds wasted, it's not a huge deal to me. Uh, but if it's like quite a bit of time, then I'll redo the the part or whatever. So, so now we just gotta go back to uh, shade and turn in the mission, and then we'll be on our way to warm water. You'll notice right there, I get a huge lag spike. That's because uh, on PS3 and Xbox. Uh, you get lag spikes on the game, which is kind of annoying. Uh, but on PC, you don't because it has, like I said before, a lot of processing power. Uh, so it's kind of unfair. It kind of does add time over, over, uh, over time. So and it's kind of annoying, but there's nothing you can do about it, you know. So, <laughs> uh, all right. Basically, I'm taking my slow vehicle. It's faster than running though to uh, warm water. And you'll see right here too, I can't travel until it saves, which is kind of annoying. PC can just travel right through the door even if it's saving. So that does add a little bit of time, which is kind of annoying. So right here, uh, <clears throat> I basically saved and quit when I got through the door and backed up the save. And now this is a second segment of me playing through the run. So <clears throat> Sorry guys, I'm a little sick right now, so in case you can't tell. Uh, now we have to go to Captain Scarlet, and this part was kind of... Uh, annoying to speed run because there's a part coming up here where I have to kill some boats and they the third one didn't spawn fast enough uh, basically they spawn right there uh, the first two spawn like instantly and the last one kind of spawns whenever it feels like it uh, but overall I think I got lucky on it I mean it spawned like it could have spawned a lot earlier or, or a lot later but uh, it kind of was in the middle, which I'm okay with. It didn't like add too much time. But right here, I kind of had to wait for the bow, and it spawned right there, which is nice. Not too bad, so. Now we're on our way to Scarlet to get our mission turned in. That's what I like about this game. You can spin on the ladders. Kind of feel like a freaking phase trick shot or something. I don't know, but... <laughs> I just think it's kind of a cool, uh, a little addition, even though it doesn't benefit you in any way, so. I don't know why, but everybody who plays this DLC says, like, Captain Scarlet's so hot and stuff, but honestly, she looks like shit. I'm not gonna lie. She's not even that hot. <laughs> At least all my friends and stuff who I play with say that, and I'm like, you got a, a weird uh, sense of taste. So, see right there, you get a huge lag spike, you see that? It's kind of annoying, so. I kind of got to wait the save out, which is kind of annoying too. I got to fast travel over uh, back to Oasis, so. Because we got to go kill Sandman.
Obviously we grab a boat because it's the fastest way of transportation. Right there I kind of derped up and hit that boat, but it's not a huge deal. I didn't lose like a ton of time, so it's only like a second or two. It's like not a huge deal for me. I think uh, the story mode itself, without like a breakneck banshee, would take someone around... I want to say an hour to an hour and a half to complete. So beating it in 35 minutes is uh, a pretty cool uh, accomplishment if I say so. So here in Hater's Folly, I do use a pretty cool grenade jump route I found. Uh, normally, you're supposed to run all the way around to get to the gate to open it and fight Sandman. But I basically take the backwards route, which is using grenade jumps. And it, it's pretty cool. You'll see it coming up here. Basically, this elevator to your left, you, you're not able to use it until you beat Sandman. So what I do is I grenade jump up to this rock. And, uh... I try to do a grenade jump here and fail because the geometry on that uh, that part of the rock is kind of weird and the grenade kind of goes flying in different directions, but I get on the second time, which is okay. So Now coming up here, uh, it won't let me fight him yet because uh, I'm not supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be on the other side of that gate. So what I do is walk up against the gate and it activates the part where I have to pull the lever. And from here, I found this really cool grenade jump I'm really proud of. Uh, up here you just jump on this crate and you have to do a jump across this to the rock and you'll need a breakneck banshee to make that jump you couldn't do it with a normal character and then right here there's an invisible wall you kinda gotta sneak your way around it and then you can um, fall right here and then go to the lever so I'm pretty proud of that finding that because I've never seen anybody else ever do that You would think you can grenade jump right over the gate easily, but there's a huge invisible barrier over it, which uh, allows you not to get over it. So that's why uh, the way I found was the only way to get it to activate right. So <clears throat> If you guys didn't know, Sandman and the Big Sleep is actually a reference to a... Uh, a really old uh, black and white silent film uh, movie. I'm trying to remember the director. I can't remember. Just a fact of knowledge for you guys. <laughs> right here is where I'm going to do my first save and quit, which actually saves uh, a nice chunk of time. I do this quite a lot in this run, so. I basically pick up the compass, and as soon as it checks, I save and quit the game and continue. Uh, and this will skip the lengthy dialogue and skip me the uh, trip of running all the way back to the beginning to hit the uh, fast travel. So it saves quite a bit of time doing that. And you'll see me do that a lot in this run. So. Right, he right here I could have saved some time if I would have turned around and uh, traveled to warm water right away. But I kind of ran forward and forgot, oh yeah, I got to travel. But I'm okay. It's not like a huge time waster, so... Now right here is a pretty cool uh, thing I did. I spawn two vehicles and take one over to my waypoint I'm supposed to go to and leave the other one back there. And what I'm going to do is teleport between the two vehicles to basically get across the map really fast. Because um, when you get into that uh, little vehicle uh, optimization station, whatever you call it or whatever, um, there's an option that allows you to teleport to the vehicle so you don't have to run over to it. Right there you might have noticed that little graphical glitch, uh, I don't know, PS3 and Xbox get that sometimes, sometimes the enemies will be like pitch black and it's really weird, um, I don't know if PC does that or not, but it's not like it's wasting time, so I'm okay with it. So you'll see right here, instead of uh, traveling all the way back to get back to uh, Captain Scarlet, I go to this travel station right here, and I teleport back to my first vehicle, which saves a lot of time doing this, so... I can just jump out of it and just, I'm already back there. And then now that my vehicle's over there by the place I need to go to next, 
I'm able to tra uh, teleport over to that vehicle and instead of running all the way back over there. Like here's an example of uh, times that you or like things you can't do anything about. You got to sit there and wait for the the objective to grab it or whatever it is you have to do there. I have to grab that box for Herbert. So and see, I traveled uh, or I teleported back to that first vehicle that I parked, and I'm already by the waypoint. So that saves a lot of time. Now I'm sorry if my commentary skills aren't the best. I've never been good at commentating very long gameplays or anything like that. So, uh, but you guys uh, told me in the last video you did want to see a commentary, so I decided to do it for this one for just for you guys. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, are you okay with my stutteriness of this commentary, or are you just like muting the video right now? Actually, if you muted the video, you wouldn't even know I'm saying this. So. <laughs> Uh, right here, instead of killing all the enemies, I do a grenade jump over this wall. Because uh, you have, uh, you're supposed to kill enough enemies, and then that uh, door will open, and then enemies will come flooding out of it. But I grenade jump over it instead of killing them. So, right here, you'll notice I stop and walk to jump on the ladder. Um, it's because sometimes the ladders are retarded, and when you try to run and jump on them, you'll just hit them and not grab them, which is kind of annoying. So I, I usually try to walk towards it and then jump on it so that I don't end up messing that up. So. I remember one time during this run I was doing right here, uh, this segment, those spider ants pop out of the ground. I got cockboxed so hard by like three of them. They literally spawned all next to each other, and I couldn't run. I was, like, stuck in between them, so I had to redo that segment, uh, which is really annoying. Uh, there's actually some spider ants coming up here that uh, got me another time later, or in a different segment I was doing on this, so... Here, we gotta talk to Herbert the Pervert. I'm pretty sure that's why they named him Herbert, it's just because it rhymes with pervert. He's like super obsessed with uh, Scarlet. Honestly, I think they're good for each other because they're both looking ugly as fuck, you know? I think they'd be perfect. <laughs> Uh, right here is probably one of my favorite parts of this run. I do an insane grenade jump across this uh, giant gap to get to the boat. Uh, you'll see right here. Now getting this grenade throw in the right place is really tough because it tends to bounce. But if you hit it on the ground and then the wall, uh, sometimes it'll stay on the ground just like that. And right here I do an, a nice long grenade jump to get to the boat instead of running all the way around it which saves a lot of time. And I'm pretty proud of making that jump because it took me so many tries to get that right. I have to back up my save like so many times. I want to say I had this run right here it took me probably, uh, I want to say 15 to 20 tries before I got it right. Um, but uh, I'm okay with it. So Right here you can barely make this jump with the Breakneck Banshee Siren. Uh, I've missed that jump so many times. Uh, it was so annoying. I was almost considering grenade jumping across it uh, instead of going all the way around, but I figured, you know, heck, I want this run to be exciting as possible, as exciting as possible, so I'm kind of like mumbling here. Um, so I just wanted to get that jump right, and I can't tell you how many times I've failed it, so I'm happy with it though. <clears throat> so basically here we're just collecting all these tapes that Herbert uh, wants us to collect because uh, he's not going to give us the compass piece uh, until we get the uh, tapes. And obviously the compass is for finding the treasure, which is what this DLC is all about. Now coming up here, I kind of derped up and I should have went right. It could have saved me like a second or two, not a huge deal. Um, but you can grenade jump up to that last tape instead of going all the way around like I did. But the spot where you grenade jump is so like 
slanted that it's like really hard to get a uh, a good grenade on it to do the grenade jump because a lot of the times you'll just throw it at the uh, the platform and then it'll just the grenade will go off in a random direction. So I decided to go around because it was such a hard thing to perfect. So it's not like I lost too much time. So I'm okay with it. Right here we have to shoot off the lock so I can just start spraying at it so I can break it right when it allows us to break it. Right here I save and quit the game because I don't have to run all the way back and I can skip that whole uh, Herbert talking scene and it'll give me the uh, the next waypoint. <clears throat> You'll notice I paused there for a second, hold on a second. <clears throat> Sorry guys. Uh, you'll notice I paused there before I saved and quit. Is because if you do it too early, uh, it'll like glitch out and then you can't complete the objective, which is really annoying. It happened to me a couple times, so I tried to give it a second before I uh, I saved and quit the game. I don't know about you guys, but if you guys ever tried Red Bull, I honestly think the uh, sugar-free Red Bulls taste a lot better than the uh, the regular Red Bull. I mean, you're probably thinking, wow, you you know, why sugar-free? That's going to, like, defeat the purpose of an energy drink. But <clears throat> I just like the taste of it, and honestly, I feel like, I feel pretty good right now. I mean, I'm getting my energy from it. <laughs> Now we're coming up to Washburn Refinery. Uh, this was a pretty annoying part because there's a room where you have to fight off these robots and you can't continue forward unless you kill them all because this gate will be closed until you uh, kill them off. And I spent a very, very long time like looking around trying to find uh, a way to get out of bounds from the beginning. I mean, I know how to get out of bounds like farther in the map, but I was trying to find it out like towards the beginning of the map so I could uh, skip that room but I could not find anything like I looked everywhere and I could not find anything so I had no choice but to uh, do that room uh, by killing all the enemies which kind of did take a chunk of time but there's nothing I could do about it I mean you can what you can do is put on not a split screen right you can have a friend jump online and like for example that area back there where the, all those enemies were I could have my friend stay over there and have those enemies loaded and not like kill them at all. And what it would do is actually glitch out this room and not load any enemies. And you see that gate closing right there? Basically it would stay open and I could run straight through it. <coughs> but um, I wanted to do this solo uh, and it would be kind of troubling to have a friend jump in at the right time so you can do that. Uh, so I basically just had no choice but to clear out the room. No big deal though. Right here, I didn't even see that guy. I'm like focusing on uh, all these other guys. <clears throat> it's kind of funny, two enemies spawn on top of each other. I wasn't too sure how many enemies he had to kill for this to open, so I kind of just, uh, kept turning around to check if it opens. I think right after this guy, uh, it opens. Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I'm stoked for the next DLC coming out. Uh, Tiny Tina's a sold on Dragon's Keep. Uh, comes out Tuesday. Uh, I think it would be a pretty cool uh, uh, DLC to speed run because there's the whole speed boost uh, machine in there. Like there's like you can grab pixies out of the air. Uh, I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but if you do, uh, if you have seen some of the previews for it, uh, there's pixies that fly around, and if you catch it, it'll give you uh, various boosts. Uh, such as a speed boost, or a health regeneration, or ammo regeneration. 
and uh, with the speed boost and the breakneck banshee, I can't even imagine how fast she'd be running. It'd be insane, and it'd be pretty cool to uh, do a speed run with that. And I think they said there's also going to be like iridium machines that allow you to buy a certain boost. And if I could just like buy speed boost and keep doing that through the uh, run, that'd be pretty epic. Yep, you know the drill guys, save and quit saves a lot of time instead of running all the way back, so. You'll notice that like loading screens are super fast like I said before. I cut out chunks of them so that it wouldn't be like super slow paced. Yeah, I love that move right there where as soon as you spawn in you turn around, travel right away. Um, it's nice to do in a speed run. <clears throat> I get stuck right there, no, no big deal. Now right here, we have to go back to Herbert. Uh, since we already visited him once, we're able to take this lift back up. So there's nothing to do but sit here and wait for the lift. It is faster than running all the way around though. You'll notice on my uh my grenade bar on the right side, bottom right screen. I accidentally picked up a grenade mod, uh, apparently when I killed an enemy, so it, equ it equipped it. Um, but it's no big deal, because I'm not doing any more uh, grenade jumps in this uh, last part of the game, so it's no big deal. Otherwise, I would have to like go to my menu and drop it, which would waste some time. Typical lag spikes, I hate that. I wish they would fix that if there was a way. Because it is kind of annoying when you're running and suddenly you hit a save point and it lag spikes. This game saves like so much and it's kind of annoying for the system users. Uh, for PC it doesn't matter, but just because like they put save points right in front of doors. So as soon as you get to the door, do you guys hate that? Like as soon as you get right to the door, getting ready to travel. Boom, it starts saving and it says you can't travel because you're saving and it's just really stupid. I hate how they do that. <laughs> right here, I just watch him make it. That's some, uh, some black magic right there, bro. I wait for it to get checked and then I save and quit. Turn around, travel right away. You know how it goes. <coughs> I'm sorry if my commentary is not as like fun and as exciting <coughs> as exciting as you guys would have hoped it uh, to be. But like I said, I'm not the best commentator. So if you guys wanna leave some, uh, I don't know what you call it, suggestions or just what you thought about my uh, commentary, just let me know below. I mean, I really don't care. You guys can say, oh my god, Jolts, you're the best commentator ever. Or you guys can just be like, Jolts, go down a fire. You suck at commentating. I really don't care, so. I'm only doing it because you guys wanted me to a little bit, uh, for my last run on the, uh, the campaign. Like I said, I'll link it in the description if you want to watch it, so. So. <laughs> uh, right here. I messed up, but it was like super late at night and I didn't want to redo the segment because I was lazy. So I had to like, I tried to go through there, but this boat just cock blocked me, so I had to go around. No big deal though. Not like I lost a ton of time. <clears throat> you guys are probably thinking like how many times I've said that. Like, it's not going to lose a lot of time, but it does add up. I mean, it is true, but. It would have probably like if I would have got everything perfect the way I wanted it to be, it would probably say be uh I wanna say like a minute probably. Which is not a huge deal for me. Um my friend actually showed me this route and I never knew about this. Uh 
I guess they intentionally per or put it here, and I didn't even notice. But you can jump like right on top of this thing, and there's a ladder right there to climb all the way up to where you need it to be. You'll notice I jump off to straighten myself with the ladder. If you're too far to the left or right of the ladder, those stupid pieces of wood to your left and right on the uh, the deck would knock you off. So you have to be like straight on with that ladder, which is kind of retarded. But yeah, like that saves so much time instead of running all the way around and dealing with all those enemies and stuff. Not that that would be a big deal, because I'm on normal mode, so. Right here I fail, I can't even phase like this guy. I'm just terrible. So we have no choice but to wait for this slow elevator. Look, he's flying. <laughs> oh, right here, this is funny. This guy's just running at me, I'm like, you want some, bro? Bam! <laughs> and I give him a little tea bag just for the humor. I thought that was funny. I hope I don't make you guys dizzy by spending a crap ton. Now this is the part where we, we gotta go up the elevator and put in the uh, compass, which will allow us to uh, see where the treasure is. The light will shine down where the treasure is. I don't know how that works, but it does, according to this game. And then after that, we fight the Leviathan, and that's the run. And I timed it to just where the run ends as soon as I turn in the last mission. So, right here, I, I, yeah, I dirt bomb. I can't, I can't freaking activate it. I'm sitting there pressing square and spamming X so I can turn it in, but uh, it wouldn't let me. <laughs> Right there, I wait a second before I jump down because if you jump down early, uh, you'll have to climb back up and wait for that mission part to come up that says rendezvous with uh, Scarlet. So, this part is kind of annoying too. Um, the enemies don't always spawn right away, which is kind of annoying. So, I had to sit there and kind of walk around for a bit waiting for them to spawn. And I go over here to hit the save point ahead of time because it's like a. It's just like, look at that lag spike, like, really. I didn't want to deal with that, so that I stayed over here, hit that save point so that I can travel right away and not have to worry about it saying I have to save before I can travel. That's just like a perfect example right there of how inaccurate the infinity is. I'm pretty sure if I had a uh, different gun, I could have uh, killed some of these guys a lot easier, but I figured I'd just use the infinity because I used it in my last run too. So here we have to travel to warm water, uh, get to the uh, the beacon spot, and uh, fight the Leviathan. Right here, I'm just spamming it because I'm like super excited to get this run done with. Because, like I said before, 35 minutes for you guys. Uh, this is many days of redoing parts to perfect them for me so I hope you guys uh, appreciate this run hmm this is the part where we fight Roscoe which is a, uh, what do they call it, a rack hive? Yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, a rack hive. Uh, it's an enemy from Borderlands 1, but uh, a lot of people call it uh, vagina mouth, and you'll see probably why as soon as you see uh, what it looks like. So. I mean, come on now. You think Gearbox just did that for no reason? <laughs> 
so basically I just destroy it with my insane damage because I'm level 61 of course. And now we get to go fight the Leviathan. Woohoo! Just gotta wait for him to puke me up. I don't know why they call this guy Dick Mouth. I mean, obviously. But. <laughs> I just think it's funny. So, right here, I just destroy his, uh. His weak spots. That was a pretty good run, I was happy with that. And then now what we have to do is kill all these worms in order for him to uh, show up his, uh, what you call it, his last weak spot in his mouth. Because he's like bulletproof right now. It's kind of unpredictable how many worms will uh, pop out before he opens his mouth. So I, I just basically spam at his mouth so as soon as he opens it, uh, my bullets will hit. Uh, his weak spot. You see right there. <laughs> now we go to the treasure room. And you guys will probably be disappointed I'm not gonna go for the treasure uh, cause it's a speed run, you know, you just hit the waypoint and then we're out of here. And the run's not over yet cause I still have to turn in the mission. Uh, you would think you can save and quit here to get back to the door, but it's retarded and it throws you back in the Leviathan. And then basically, when he pukes you out, he just dies right away, because you're already defeated him. So, basically we have to run back to the door instead of saving and quitting. Which is kind of sucky, but it's no big deal. And now we're back in Oasis. You'll notice the textures on the... The graphics or whatever are kind of dull. Uh, like I said, the systems are kind of downgraded, so it takes like a while. Not too, not a while, but a little bit before the uh, textures kick in, so. If you guys could leave a like, that would be epic. It would uh, let me know you guys liked the video and uh, give me more motivation to make another speedrun for you guys. So, as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.